Okay, I'm taking the um, moment out of my busy schedule to talk about E3. As you know, it's been going on in California, I think it is. Um, and I'm not particularly that thrilled with it. To be honest, it just seemed like a rehash of old franchises stuck in, you know, stuck in a new box, you know, like um, gift wrapped, basically. And it seems like um, the same old stuff. And like, just like, uh, developers and stuff have stayed with the same franchises so that they know they'll get a sale. And, uh, you know, people just want more of the same anyway. They don't really want to experiment, especially because of the economic downturn. Um, safe at this time makes money, money makes profit, and businesses turn, you know, day by day. Um, so yeah, I'm not too thrilled, um, and also the companies seem to be copying each other to a certain extent, like you had the Nintendo Wii, which was, I'm not really a fan of it, I don't see it as a real console, even though it has got some good exclusives, um, yeah, I just see it as a joke. Um, yeah, some of you might not like that, but I just see it as a joke console. As um, I've got more into the PC casual market, but not the casual console market, and I don't think I will. And I'm not really interested in things like Wii Fit or whatever. I just think like um, they can, uh, you know, if I wanted to do exercise, I would do exercise and not do Wii Fit. Um, yeah, that's another point I've got to make. Uh, I read this article in that it was saying that um, the new Microsoft Connect um, isn't isn't that favourable with couch potatoes like me? Um, there's a whole point of me uh, my spare time liking to relax is that I like to obviously play games and I see them as a relaxing thing and I personally doesn't like to overexert myself, I don't really like to exert myself unless I see uh, that it's worth it. And I think, um, why should I exert myself, you know, okay, well, there's this dance game or whatever, okay, I can understand exerting yourself and that sort of thing, fair enough, but in things like um, just normal gaming, having to stand up and flap your arms about like an, around like an idiot and uh... okay so it will get fat people off their asses uh... fat people here being used um... I'm not trying to be derogatory at all but um... yeah I, I think that's what the game industry is trying to do get fat people off their asses, uh, but then the couch potato <laughs> market like myself won't want to sort of get anything from them so I'll sort of be counterproductive because when I've sort of, you know, I, I, I think we're living in this time where um, lots of things like mobile phones and stuff uh, are actually sort of merging into all-in-one machines where you know you'll have your alarm clock, you'll have your 
to be able to play the DVDs, go on the internet, whatever, you know, play your favourite music, that sort of thing, all at once. And we're sort of seeing the switch there in gaming and the fitness market. They've looked, Nintendo, we looked and found. Uh, wow, they found um, a way of marketing it for family uh, and the casual gamers, which has appeared um, appealed to wider audience. Uh, but at the same time, they've alienated people like me, um, who like more the hardcore stuff, and been sort of playing for years. Whereas these people might have just been playing for five minutes. Uh, yeah, so I'm not really all in, all in the all in one and sort of like combining the fitness sort of regime and sort of flapping my arms about like an idiot. Because, you know, I should decide whether I want to do exercise or not and also uh, you know I just I think it's really stupid and I think like the whole it sort of erases the whole point for me of uh, being able to enjoy my time you know, it's like I don't want to. I don't want to put the two together. I want to have them separate. You know, I want to do them, do them separately. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think when you get to the point that machines are sort of doing all in ones and sort of telling you what you gonna have for dinner tonight, I think then we're living in this really stupid world. I need to stop and take a step backwards and I think that's where we're going now really people don't know what to do I think like I, I did read this article um, about going being a rut um, I think that's where we are we're we're, we're um, being too safe with franchises you know bringing up old ones and making them a rehash so that it's safe cash, so that companies will get profit. Uh, I suppose it might be needed in this time of uh, financial difficulty, uh, where sales are dropping and stuff, but eventually we're going to have to go back into the territory of being more imaginative and um, taking risks which also um, means financially risking profits for uh, innovative ideas all these ideas that have been, that are being implemented uh, sort of Microsoft connects basically a uh, it's a clone of the Wii controller and then so is Sony move and then you just have the 3D thing, 3 3DS uh, coming out for Nintendo. Well, that actually looks some good games on there. I don't know whether I'd actually get it or not. But I think the thing I'm looking forward to is probably PSP2. Because I pretty much like PSP. It's sort of like my on the go um, gaming station, you know, you can do it anywhere. That's what I like about it, and it's got a good battery life. Uh, but yeah, I'm not just not too thrilled about the whole point of uh, everything sort of merging together with one machine, it's a bit scary and also stuff to do with I'm such a keyboard and mouse person, such a sort of 
PC gamer that I just I feel uncomfortable sort of um, you know I'd feel uncomfortable with just a gaming glove or these stupid um, 3D glasses or whatever you know and slapping my arms around and stuff but feel really like a retard I really don't like that direction of where things are going right now so yeah that's about it